All right, guys, welcome to another video. Sorry there hasn't been anything on the channel. Life's kind of gotten a little He's hectic. He's too poor to have anything. Well, you know everything <laughs> that's gone on in my living situations. But uh, so we are back with a new project. So let's welcome our uh, $200 drag race project or budget drag race car. So we picked up this uh, and this is also a budget or this is like a budget uh, friendship build, I guess we should call it. <laughs> so we kind of want to show that you and your best bud can uh, buy something cheap and make it ooh, a ball. <laughs> My car! <laughs> and uh, make uh, I'm getting distracted by all the kids over there. <laughs> And so basically make a And so basically in a sense make a car that you can build for super dirt cheap but still have fun at the drag strip. So that's what we're gonna do with this. So we bought this thing for 200 bucks off of my buddy Josh. And uh, here we'll go around a piece over there. Piece. <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, the bracket. So the reason why we got this car is because of this unit right here. There, it's not there. And so the whole alternator is not tight, the belt's loose, and the battery is pooped, so it dies. And so yeah, about 200 bucks. But uh, here's the inside. She's got 320,000 kilometers for those who care. Not too terrible. Pretty, pretty solid car. A little bit of rust and uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh doesn't have the spare but whatever that it wouldn't last long anyway the some dance because you know it's a 200 hundred dollar car but uh so yeah what are we doing here matt we gonna put the alternator on properly yeah we're gonna have to <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna go and take uh this thing for its maiden voyage under our ownership and go scale it and see how heavy this thing is. Alrighty guys, so we had to run out because apparently the okay. alternator is not working either. And when the alternator becomes a magnet, you know it's a bad alternator. Yeah. Should we demonstrate? <laughs> I have never seen an alternator do this before. Okay, so Matt's gonna put the negative back on. Now watch this. I need to go the other way. Look at it. It's sticking and then Matt will undo it and it falls off. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. So yeah, we went and picked up another alternator. And that's probably when, when you run the weather for the last year. Yeah. And when, when you run the uh car, the battery lights on obviously, so there's something wrong with it. So we're gonna swap that guy out. Alrighty guys, so a bit of an update here. We got the whole thing together. We got our new junkyard alternator and uh we have also put in a different fuel relay because that is also bad. And now we have a running car with no battery light. So now we're going to take it on our maiden voyage and hopefully we don't break down. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so uh, we're out on uh, the maiden, vo maiden voyage for the $200 uh, project <laughs> and uh it's driving good has uh has a brake light the brake warning light on and the uh abs light on but uh she's cruising we're just kind of we're coming up pretty close here soon to uh the scale we're going to use for reference to see kind of how much she weighs so get an idea before we completely strip it because you know Stripping a car is uh, the cheapest way to get it to go faster. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll uh, tune back in there when we hit the scale and see how fat this thing is. Alrighty, guys, so we are on the scale right there. And uh, probably can't even see that. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, 1330 kilograms. And so when we go to a conversion right there, we're 29.32 roughly. So we'll say 29.30. So 2930 pounds is what we currently weigh. 
and there is about a half a tank in the car right now and no spare tire so i think if we had a full tank and a spare tire it might just kiss three grand i think so that's what we're working with and then uh next we gotta go race this thing and see how pathetically slow it is <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're over on a little strip in Mexico here. We got a little uh, GPS uh, draggy thingy. It's kind of accurate, but uh, we're just going to little see how she will do a little bit of a run here. Oh, oh it squeaked! This is what we did. Apparently it did 16.4 at 76 miles an hour. Yay. I don't think it's actually, I think, it's usually about a half a second give or take on this GPS I found. So it's probably around a 17 second car. She's mad fast, Matt's mad fast. But uh, that's gonna include it for our little shit box here. For this video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys subscribe so that you get uh, notifications on the next parts of this piece of shit or 200 dollar race car <laughs> that we have officially named the b-bomb and i will not say what the b stands for it but you might find out later but uh in the next video of this car we will be taking it to the racetrack to actually see how fast it is instead of using a phone GPS because they're usually not the most accurate. But you guys better subscribe so you can check out how pathetically slow we are. And then we, <laughs> then we start making it quicker for as cheap as we can. But uh, that's all for this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you later.